Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll continue the talk on the release stream. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Today we will begin the discussion on dream settings to help you more fully analyze your main release dream themes, continuing with buildings and prisons in a dream. Remember that one of the hallmarks to help you determine if your dream is a release dream or not is the fact that there's usually some very strange feature to a release dream, like a unicorn suddenly making an appearance, or a bicycle that turns into a truck, or some totally unusual situation occurring. Buildings. When a building in your dream gets your attention, it is important to interpret it. You may dream of being in an old warehouse or in a familiar or unfamiliar house, in skyscrapers or colonial office buildings, in the town hall, in police stations, train stations, airports, TV stations, hotels, motels, bars, restaurants, palaces or poorhouses. The list is virtually endless. Now, most dream analysts appreciate the myriad things buildings can represent in dreams, and they take careful note of the type of building, its condition, and of course the action that takes place within it. As an example, if you find yourself in a house with your wife, who is noticing that the foundations are crumbling, or that it is rat infested, you must ask yourself how this could be a description of your relationship or some other joint venture. In our first example, we have a man that dreamt that he was at an airport frantically trying to find the Delta Terminal. In the dream, he is afraid that he is going to miss the plane, and so he is rushing. In the dream, he kept asking everyone which way is the terminal. People start to started to laugh, and when he asked them the way, and they said, you don't want to fly Delta. In the dream, he presses through the crowds, running, running, and running. Then he passes a beautiful girl who puts her hand on his face and says, I feel so bad that you are going to miss your flight. The man replies, Well, if I do, where will you be? She says that she will be in the TV lounge. When the man analyzed his dream, he described airports in general as fun and exciting places, that lead you to new and different adventures. Then he asked himself exactly what the Delta Terminal was like. And he said, well, I never fly Delta. I fly other airlines because I have my mileage on those. But I, but I hear that Delta is probably a better company with better programs. In my dreams, I really want to fly Delta. He then asked himself if there was anything in his life that he wants in the way that he wants to fly Delta. He thought for a minute, then he said, well, I don't know why, but I think of dating really beautiful women, like models, but I don't usually go after them because I don't think they will be attracted to me. He next asked himself to describe the woman who put her hand on his face and said she was sorry he was going to miss his flight. The man said, she was beautiful that she was just gorgeous. In fact, in the dream, she picked me out of the crowd. When she, told, when she told him she would be in the TV lounge, he thought, oh, this is too good to be true. I could easily find the TV lounge. He next asked himself to describe TV lounges, pretending that the person he was explaining this to had never heard of them before. He said, they were easy, comfortable places to be, and this gorgeous woman was going to be right there with him. Before he knew it, the man was describing his way of seeking out great women. He had always been attracted to the high-profile trophy women, which is his dream, were in the Delta women. He had been planning to find the new the Delta terminal, but he also knew that that sort of woman was rarely attracted to him. The surprise in the dream was that this gorgeous woman had sought him out, and could be found in an easy, comfortable environment. It gave him some confidence that maybe he would find a wonderful woman, even a gorgeous woman. 
if he would just relax and live his life the way he was comfortable living it, and to question his belief that gorgeous women are to be found only in jet-set environments. To help you analyze your dream settings of being in a building, ask yourself these questions. 1. Describe the building in your dream. What is its function? What is its condition? And how do you feel about it? 2. Describe the action in your dream. How do you feel being in this building or trying to get into this building? 3. Is there any situation in your current life or in the past where you feel you have felt the way you do in this dream? 4. How so? Elaborate. 5. How do, you do, how do your descriptions of the building and the feelings you have about the building match a certain circumstance in your life or a certain area of your life? 6. How does the action that takes place in your dream building shed light on a situation in your current life. Prisons. Many people dream of being sentenced to prison and of being in prison, of trying to escape from prison, or being in prisons that are lovely but deadly places, of being in horribly frightening prisons. People dream of getting to know their prison guards, of loving them or hating them. Many dream analysts generally see prisons as expressing the dreamer's emotional repression or the dreamer's self-limitations or limitations within the context of career or relationships. Other dream analysts have matched the image of prisons with excessive introversion as well as a desire for solitude and meditation. Many more dream analysts look to prisons as a sign of the dreamer's sense of guilt appropriate or not. Prisons can represent many things for many people, including the feeling one has in a relationship, in a job, in a family setting, or in general life circumstances. Being in prison has never been described to, to me as a happy experience, but rather one of restrictions, limitations, and discomforts. The most common use for the dream image of prison is to express the dreamer's feelings and it's usually the female dreamers that feel that they are in prison in the context of a limiting marriage or romantic relationship. When women dream of prison guards and de they describe the personalities and behaviors of the prison guards in the dream, they often discover that they are describing their own husbands or boyfriends. This does not necessarily mean that the husband or boyfriend is in fact acting as a prison guard, although it, that very well might be the case. Instead, it can also mean that the dreamer, through her own needs for security or because of simple bad habits from childhood, has set up a relationship pattern in which she feels imprisoned, unfree, and very limited. In our first example, we have a woman that dreamt that she had just been sentenced to four or five years of solitary confinement. In the dream, she reflects, well, that's not so bad. At least I will get a lot of reading done and learn a lot. When the woman analyzed her dreams, she described solitary confinement as a dreadful, lonely experience. The only thing that could be said for such an experience is that one could indeed with a great deal of discipline, learn a lot during that period. But as she continued to reflect on this, her emotional response did not follow suit with that assessment. She could die within four or five years, before four and five years are up, and that's how long she would have to go to a conservative graduate school to get her master's degree in creative writing. She decided at that very moment not to apply to the schools that she had been thinking about on the East Coast, but rather to get her degree from an avant-garde school that would allow her to study creative writing in a more open and creative environment. She refused to spend the next four or five years of her life keeping her interest in creative writing a secret while she pretended to be interested in more traditional areas of this field of study. 
In our next example, we have a woman that dreamt that her best friend was being held hostage by some mafia types in a house across the street. She calls to tell her other friend about it and begs for help. The friend immediately calls the police and then runs over to the house to tell the bad guys that she has already called the police and it's too late for their threats. They were about to inject her with a drug. Oh dear, she thought, the situation could still be very dangerous if I lose my focus. When the woman analyzed this dream, she asked herself about her other friend in whom she had turned to in this hour of need, asking, who is this friend and what is this friend like? She thought about this for a while and said that she was her best friend. She is a very smart, very capable, but she has a difficult time with men. Then she asked herself, what is my friend like in my dreams? She then said that this friend was very much the way she actually was in waking life. About five years ago when she called to tell me that her husband was threatening to kill her. Her best friend was a person that had been known to get herself into abusive relationships because she was unwilling to see the warning signs soon enough. She thought about it and suddenly realized that this reminded her of herself. Because just last night she had wrote in her journal that she was worried about her boyfriend's drinking and about his vindictiveness. He feels justified in being mean to people who have wronged him or who have hurt his feelings. The woman said that she liked to think that her situation with her boyfriend was not as dire as her best friend's was with her husband, but her dream draws a direct parallel. She said that she thinks of her best friend as a part of herself with whom she has to save. The threat of being injected in the dream reminds her of sex which she could use as a drug. Her sexy boyfriend could make her lose her focus and forget to take care of herself. The dream was a profound warning for her. To help you analyze your dream settings of being in a prison, ask yourself these questions. 1. Describe the prison situation in your dream. If you know why you were sentenced or why you were sent there, include this in your description. Two. What are prisons like? Pretend that, you've, that you're explaining this to someone who's never heard of them before. What is the prison in your dream like? Three, describe the personality or the role of anyone else in the dream, including fellow inmates, prison keepers, and guards. Four, describe how you feel about being in prison, being sent to prison, or about the people in the dream. Five, is there any place in your life where you feel like you are in a prison and unfree? 6. Is there any situation in your life where you feel the same as you feel in the dream? 7. How so? Elaborate. 8. Is there anyone in your life or any part of yourself that is like the prison guard or prison keeper in the dream? 9. How so? Elaborate. 10. How do the feelings of the people and the actions in your prison dream remind you of a current or past situation in your life? 11. Do you want to get out of this prison? And if so, how? I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.